Hey, AFI Movie Club. I'm John Glossarian. I was the cinematographer on Love, Simon, and I'm also an AFI alum. Dear students of Creekwood High School, as anyone with a half-decent data plan already knows, a recent post on this very website declared that I was gay. The delivery left something to be desired, but the message is true. I am gay. The thing I love about this clip is that it's such a simple idea. It's a simple visual idea, but I feel like it works really effectively. The idea is that we're seeing every single character in the movie again, reading Simon's letter, and we're slowly pulling away from all of them. And when we cut back to him writing his letter, we're pushing in on him. And it gives him this power, I think, this moment where he's kind of taking back power in the story. I'm done living in a world where I don't get to be who I am. I deserve a great love story. Disclaimer, this is about to get romantic as F, so anyone adverse to gratuitous feelings, kindly click over to the BuzzFeed quiz or resume the porn you pause to read this. Did you even use the letter? It's actually much harder to achieve all of that than it was to say it. I think when we were prepping it, we just had this simple idea and we passed it off and then, but then it's like all of these scenes, you know, when you're scheduling a movie, it's like you have all these characters that maybe only are there for a couple of days or whatever. And we would always have to sort of tag this moment on to a day. The crew didn't really understand what these were, but they knew that like, oh, well, we have to do a shot with these characters where we're pulling away. This guy that I love once wrote that he felt like he was stuck on a Ferris wheel. On top of the world one minute, at rock bottom the next. That's how I feel now. I couldn't ask for more amazing friends more understanding family, but it would all be so much better if I had someone to share it with. So Blue, I might not know your name or what you look like, but I know who you are. I know you're funny and thoughtful. You choose your words carefully and that they're always perfect. And then it all comes together at the end with this drone shot where we're sort of flying over everybody and you see him isolated. He's sort of moving against the ant farm. So Blue, after the play, Friday at 10, you know where I'll be. No pressure for you to show up, but I hope you do. Because you deserve a great love story too. Love, Simon. Those two really simple visual ideas just came together so nicely and it's a moment in the movie that I think feels really special and sort of propels the narrative into the third act. I read Love, Simon in like September of 2016. I didn't know who Greg Berlanti was. I had never met him before. I knew he was a television guy, like that he did all these TV shows and whatever. As I was thinking about this movie, Trump became president. And I remember thinking like, I have to do this movie. This movie seems like important now. You know, and then I met Greg and realized this is somebody who's really passionate about this story and really passionate about telling a story like this to this, you know, new generation. When the movie came out, the amount of like emails and things like that I got from people who were like, oh my God, I wish I had this movie when I was a kid. There were just so many of those. I'm glad I contributed to this because I feel like it's important to a lot of people and that's you know, the kind of movies that I'd like to make are things that are you know, memorable, important, meaningful, all of that, so.